This is so obviously a claw. If you look at a, a talon or a claw of a cat. Africa is the second biggest place on Earth. It's a really interesting and big continent with hidden surprises that can make your skin tingle. It's not just its size that's cool. Africa is like a giant puzzle with oddly shaped pieces. Some things we've found in Africa are making scientists nervous. Let's go on a journey together to uncover 20 mysteries in Africa that no one can figure out. Even the smartest people are confused by these strange things. Number 20. Bakoni Ruins The Bakoni Ruins are a fascinating collection of ancient stone structures located in South Africa, specifically in the Mpumalanga province. These structures were built by a group of people known as the Bakoni, who are believed to be the ancestors of the Basotho community today. These ruins are spread out across a wide area and consist of various types of stone constructions, such as walls built in steps, circular arrangements of stones, and other unique formations. Archaeologists and researchers think that these ruins were constructed by the Bakoni people for different purposes. Some of the structures might have been used as places to live, offering shelter from the elements. This is so obviously a claw. If you look at a, a talon or a claw of a cat. Other stone formations could have had ritualistic importance, possibly serving as spaces for ceremonies or gatherings. Additionally, certain designs hint at defensive strategies. So now we're starting to fill in the gaps using this Suggesting light. that the Bakoni might have built these structures to protect themselves during times of conflict. While the exact age of the Bakoni ruins remains uncertain, it's believed that they date back several centuries. These ruins provide valuable insights into the history, lifestyle, and beliefs of the Bakoni people who inhabited the region in the past. Studying these structures helps us better understand how people from that time lived, interacted, and adapted to their environment. Number 19. Blue Sky Stone In the vast expanse of time that our planet has existed, it has played host to an assortment of extraterrestrial visitors in the form of meteorites. These celestial bodies hurtle through the cosmos, occasionally finding their way to Earth's surface. One intriguing representative of this cosmic entourage is the Sky Stone, a strikingly blue stone believed to be a remnant from a meteorite. While some may regard it with mystical reverence, others approach it with scientific curiosity. The story of the Sky Stone begins with its purported discovery in 1990 by Angelo Pitoni, an archaeologist and geologist in Sierra Leone, West Africa. However, even before its unearthing, Local legends held that these stones were once denizens of the sky. Cast down by the divine for their transgressions, these beings were said to be encased in stones and dispatched to Earth. Angelo Pitoni took the stone to various laboratories for rigorous analysis. The results were astonishing. The sky stone was found to consist predominantly of oxygen, with smaller percentages of carbon, lime, silicone, and other elements. This composition set it apart from any terrestrial rock, suggesting an extraterrestrial origin. Carbon dating estimated that the stone had arrived on Earth between 2,500 and 17,000 years ago. Over time, parts of the sky stone have found their way into the hands of collectors who value them as exceptional relics. In 2013, artist and designer Jared Collins encountered a piece of the sky stone in Hong Kong, the stone had been tested and deemed unidentifiable, a classification that heightened its enigmatic aura. Collins expressed his fascination with the stone's vibrant blue hue, its unusual lightness, and its perplexing nature. His experience epitomizes the mystique surrounding the sky stone. Number 18. Senegal's Pink Lake Senegal's Pink Lake, also known as Lake Retba, is a truly unique and mesmerizing natural wonder. Located just northeast of the capital city, Dakar, this lake earns its name from its stunning pink hue, which is a sight to behold. The remarkable pink color of the lake is caused by a type of microorganism called Dunaliella salina, along with a specific kind of bacteria. These tiny creatures produce a reddish-pink pigment that gives the water its distinctive color. 
When the sunlight hits the water, it creates a dazzling spectacle, ranging from soft pastel shades to vibrant magenta, depending on the time of day and the angle of the sun. The Pink Lake is not just a sightseeing attraction, it also holds cultural and economic significance for the local community. For generations, the people living around the lake have been involved in harvesting salt. During the dry season, as the lake water evaporates, it leaves behind a thick layer of salt crystals. Local workers gather these salt crystals by hand, forming surreal landscapes of white mounds along the shore. The salt harvesting process is an arduous and labor-intensive task, often involving entire families. The collected salt is then cleaned, processed, and packaged for sale, both locally and internationally. This industry is vital for the livelihoods of the people in the region and has been a part of their traditions for centuries. Number 17. Crocodile of the Congo The Congo crocodile is a type of crocodile that lives in Central and West Africa near water. They are big and strong, with males growing up to 16 feet long and weighing over 1,100 pounds. They have a wide snout and sharp teeth for catching fish, birds, and animals. What makes them special is the bony plates on their back. It inhabits freshwater environments such as rivers, lakes, and swamps. Congo crocodiles are mostly active during the night, which helps them avoid the heat of the day. They are skilled swimmers and can stay submerged underwater for long periods, using their eyes, nostrils, and ears positioned on the top of their head to remain hidden while still breathing and observing their surroundings. Female Congo crocodiles build nests made of vegetation near the water's edge to lay their eggs. They usually lay around 20 to 50 eggs in a single clutch. The temperature at which the eggs are incubated determines the sex of the hatchlings. The Congo crocodile is considered vulnerable due to habitat loss, hunting, and accidental entanglement in fishing gear. Conservation efforts are necessary to protect their populations and the ecosystems they inhabit. Number 16. Worshipping Pythons In parts of Africa, particularly in countries like Benin and Nigeria, there exists a unique and intriguing tradition of worshipping pythons. These majestic snakes are revered as sacred beings and are believed to possess divine powers. This practice is deeply rooted in local mythology and spiritual beliefs. The worship of pythons is often associated with fertility, protection, and prosperity. Python temples or shrines are dedicated to these creatures, and devotees come to pay their respects, offer food, and seek blessings. The pythons are cared for by designated individuals within the community who ensure their well-being and facilitate the rituals. The origins of this practice are diverse, but it's generally believed that it evolved from a combination of indigenous animistic beliefs and the influence of various religions like Vodun and Christianity. The presence of pythons is considered auspicious, and harming them is typically forbidden due to the perceived negative consequences. Number 15. Hidden Chamber of the Great Pyramid Recently, a 4-500-year-old hidden chamber was uncovered within one of Egypt's Great Pyramids. This newfound corridor, measuring around 30 feet in length and over 6 feet in width, was located near the primary entrance of one of the three pyramids at Giza. The Scan Pyramids Project, backed by the Egyptian Tourism Ministry of Antiquities, employed advanced technology to reveal this enigmatic space situated on the northern face of the Pyramid of Khufu. Despite their efforts, archaeologists remain perplexed about the chamber's purpose, as it couldn't be accessed externally. Various innovative methods, including ultrasound measurements and ground-penetrating radars, were used to detect the corridor. By deploying advanced radiography and an endoscope, scientists captured images of the corridor, which has sparked further speculation and excitement about the ancient mysteries contained within the pyramids. Number 14. Nubian Stone Tablets Archaeologists have discovered a treasure trove of ancient Nubian stone tablets in an expansive African necropolis. Dating back 2,700 years, these enigmatic artifacts are inscribed with the language of the Kushites. Unearthed at the Sedinga site in Sudan, which once held a temple dedicated to Queen Tai of Egypt, the tablets provide insight into the mysterious kingdom of Kush. During the period between the 7th century BCE and the 4th century CE, 
Sedinga transformed into a necropolis for the Napata and Meroe kingdoms. These cultures melded Egyptian customs with their own, creating the Kingdom of Kush. The recovered artifacts, including lintels and steles, constitute the largest collection of Meroitic texts known. Meroitic, an ancient script borrowed from Egyptian characters, remains largely untranslated. Among the discoveries is a two-end-century CE chapel lintel depicting Mat, the Egyptian goddess of balance and justice, notably portrayed with African features. Commemorative texts celebrating high-ranking women, like Maliwaris and Adatalabe, highlight the importance of women in this society. Number 13. Stone Circle at Mazura. The Stone Circle at Mazura is an old monument in Morocco near Essaouira. It's made of big rocks placed in a circle. People aren't sure why it was built or who built it, but they think it's about 5,000 to 7,000 years old. Some experts believe it was important to the people who made it, maybe for their culture or beliefs. The circle makes us curious about what kind of things might have happened there long ago. Maybe ceremonies or special gatherings took place inside it. Even though we don't have all the answers, the stone circle at Missoura gives us a glimpse into history and how people used to live. Looking at this circle takes us back to a time we don't know much about. It's like a puzzle that we're trying to solve, helping us understand more about the past and the different ways people saw the world back then. Number 12. Space Diamonds Space diamonds, also known as extraterrestrial or cosmic diamonds, are a captivating phenomenon that has intrigued scientists and space enthusiasts alike. These diamonds are not the result of human mining, but rather originate from distant celestial bodies such as meteorites, asteroids, and even planets. The process of forming space diamonds begins with intense pressure and temperature conditions found within these cosmic bodies. The carbon atoms present in the core of these celestial objects undergo a transformation under these extreme conditions, crystallizing into diamond structures. When these celestial bodies experience violent events like impacts or collisions, fragments containing these diamonds can be ejected into space. One particularly fascinating aspect of space diamonds is their potential to shed light on the conditions and processes occurring within the early solar system. These diamonds can carry vital information about the age, composition, and evolution of these celestial bodies, as well as the dynamics of the environment in which they formed. Scientists study space diamonds using various techniques, including spectroscopy and microscopy, to gain insights into their origin and history. Number 11. The Dendera Light. The Dendera Light is a carving found in Egypt's Dendera complex. Some claim it represents an ancient light bulb, citing the depiction of a lotus flower and a snake. However, this idea is largely rejected by experts. Most scholars see the carving as a symbolic representation, tied to Egyptian mythology and rituals. The theory of it being a functioning light lacks substantial evidence and is not widely accepted. The intricate design likely held cultural or religious significance rather than portraying advanced technology. While the Dendera light sparks curiosity, the consensus among archaeologists is that it's not an ancient light bulb, but a representation of ancient beliefs and practices. Number 10. Ancient Tools The ancient Stone Age in Africa saw people using various stone tools. Different regions had their own unique tools, but some were similar to those found in Europe due to changing climates. North Africa had hand axes and flake tools, and the Sahara was less arid in the past. East Africa had pebble tools that evolved into the Old Doan industry, followed by more advanced hand axes and tools. Southern Africa had a sequence from pebble tools to evolved hand axes, followed by complex tool assemblages like the Fower Smith. Central Africa had a similar sequence and a unique Sangoan industry. The Mesolithic followed, with stone microliths and pottery, leading to the Neolithic period characterized by innovations like domestication of animals, polished stone tools and agriculture, ultimately leading to Egypt's advanced civilization around 3000 BCE. Iron Age arrived later in most of Africa. Number 9. Egyptian Pets Pets were cherished by ancient Egyptians and seen as divine gifts that should be cared for throughout their lives. These animals were even mummified upon their death, similar to humans. Egyptians had a wide range of pets, 
including dogs, cats, baboons, birds, fish, gazelles, lions, hippos, and monkeys. While it's debated whether animals were worshipped as gods, pets were deeply loved and valued, much like modern-day pets. For instance, cats were especially popular due to their association with the goddess Bastet, and dogs were important for guarding and hunting. Pets were considered companions not only in life, but also in the afterlife, where they would be reunited with their owner. Number 8. The Crazy Beast In December 2020, a study revealed Adelotherium, a strange creature from 66 million years ago, named Crazy Beast, it was a unique mammal living in Africa, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. It had extra backbones, strong crocodile-like back legs, and unique teeth. The almost complete skeleton studied by scientists gave insights into its time, coexisting with dinosaurs. Unlike any known mammals, Adelotherium had both modern front legs and crocodile-like back legs. Its teeth were special too, with ever-growing front teeth and distinct back teeth. The creature's snout even had a puzzling hole, making it a remarkable discovery. Number 7. Burial Monument The Lothagem North Pillar site in Kenya is an ancient burial mound that has been standing for about 5,000 years. It's located in an area with red sandstones and volcanic rocks. The mound is defined by a ring of boulders and has pillars at its center. Researchers have studied this site and found that it was a carefully planned cemetery where generations of mobile herders from ancient times laid their deceased loved ones to rest over hundreds of years. Although only a small part of the mound was excavated out of respect, it has yielded valuable artifacts like pottery, jewelry, and other items from that time period. This burial site challenges the idea that monumental structures like this are always associated with social inequality, as the grave goods were distributed equally among people of different ages and genders, suggesting a non-hierarchical society. Number 6. Homo Naledi Homo Naledi is an ancient human ancestor discovered in a South African cave. What's cool about it is that it has some body parts similar to very ancient humans that lived in times past, but also some parts resembling modern humans. The fossils were hidden deep inside the cave, which makes us wonder why they were put there. This discovery makes us think differently about how humans evolved and where we come from. Number 5. Mysterious Elephant Deaths Back in 2020, between May and June, the sudden deaths of numerous elephants in Botswana were unraveled. The culprits are toxins from tiny water-dwelling cyanobacteria. These microscopic algae, also called blue-green algae, released harmful substances that led to the demise of around 330 elephants in Botswana's Okavango Delta. Unlike previous theories of poaching or anthrax, this unusual phenomenon was attributed to these toxic blooms. Scientists are noting that the warming climate might encourage the growth of these toxic bacteria as they thrive in warmer waters. Although this clarifies the mysterious deaths, there are still puzzling aspects, such as why only elephants were affected and why the incidents were confined to a specific area. Number 4. Africa's Oldest Dinosaur The oldest dinosaur remains found in Africa are more than 200 million years old and come from the early Jurassic time. Fossils of this remarkable creature were found in the Hatangian-aged Lower Elliot Formation of Southern Africa. The dinosaur, named Nyasasaurus parringtoni, is believed to be one of the earliest known dinosaurs on the continent. Nyasasaurus was a small bipedal dinosaur, likely about 7 to 10 feet long. Its fossilized bones included parts of the legs, hips, and spine. Scientists estimate that it lived around 245 million years ago. Its discovery provides crucial insights into the evolution of dinosaurs and the origins of the group. Nyasasaurus inhabited a world that was quite different from today, with a unique ecosystem and different geological conditions. Studying the oldest dinosaurs like Nyasasaurus helps researchers understand the early stages of dinosaur diversification and the factors that influence their evolutionary paths. The fossils offer clues about their anatomy, behavior, and environment. Number 3. Stone Circles of Gambia the Wasu stone circles in Gambia are a significant archaeological site with historical importance. Found in Wasu village along the Gambia River's northern bank, they showcase past civilization's achievements. 
comprising large monolithic stones in circular patterns. These circles, varying in size and diameter, were built over centuries from 500 BC to 1000 AD. People aren't sure why the circles were made. Some think they might have been used for burying people because human remains were found nearby. Others believe they could have been used for rituals or religious ceremonies related to honoring ancestors or understanding the universe. These circles are part of a bigger group, and in 2006, UNESCO acknowledged them as the Stone Circles of Senegambia, showing that they're important for culture and history. Number 2. Ruins of Getty nestled in Kenya, the Getty ruins reveal a glimpse of the past. Amid lush forests, these remains hint at a thriving Swahili city, but no written records survive. The mystery deepens as historians wonder who lived here and why they left for the encroaching jungle. Evidence suggests intentional departure, as residents removed valuables before leaving. Houses contained secret, empty strong rooms that could be reached through trapdoors. Why around 2,500 people abandoned homes remains debated. Getty was constructed in the 13th century, and its reason for existence is a mystery. Despite being far from other places, it engaged in extensive trading, as evidenced by artifacts found. The city had water wells, advanced sanitation, drainage systems, and even flush toilets. It was made up of mosques, mansions, houses, tombs, and areas for burying the deceased, forming a Muslim city. Getty thrived until the 16th century, then declined from an unknown exodus. By the early 17th century, it was abandoned. British discovery was in 1894. Kenyan National Monument recognition came in 1927. Number 1. Madagascar's Stone Forest The stone forest in Madagascar is a truly remarkable place, resembling a forest made of stone. Found within the Singi de Bemaraha National Park, this awe-inspiring landscape is a result of millions of years of erosion on limestone rock. The term Singi, meaning where one cannot walk barefoot in the local Malagasy language, accurately portrays the rugged terrain. The stone structures, some towering more than 100 feet, feature sharp edges and rugged surfaces formed through the gradual dissolution of limestone by rainwater. This prolonged process has given rise to a complex network of narrow canyons, gorges, and surreal peaks. Beyond its geological marvels, the stone forest also nurtures diverse life forms. Lemurs, chameleons, and unique plant species have adapted to this challenging environment. Thanks for watching. While you are here, click the video on the screen to watch more 